Hi there, Rick here. I want to talk to you today about XLR cables and uh, how important it is to take care of them uh, and, and uh, do the right thing by them. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that cabling is uh, manufactured with a twist in it. Um, it has to do with the shielding inside of the cable and the shielding is there to prevent um, your, those low-level signals from being polluted by RF, radio, radio frequency interference. So um, that RF protection is built in to, um, via the shield that's built into the cable and that shield has a twist in it and that twist um, runs throughout the full length of the cable and what you have to do is train your cables to be able to wrap them correctly and uh, this wrapping technique is known as over under I've heard it called TV wrap it's, um, it's if you look at it closely it's also known as a figure of eight if you lay a, a figure of eight is typically the same type of wrap just laid out flat it's important to preserve the natural twist in the cable um, because that twist again because of the manufacturing process preserves what's known as common mode rejection of RF so remember that if you um, abuse these cables you're reducing the effectiveness uh, of the um, RF rejection the common mode rejection in it um, a, th a, lo a thing I see happen a lot is people like to roll them up and tie them into knots like so and, and that's a bad idea because you're, um, you're crimping the, um, the shielding by doing that. Who knows? You may be even breaking some of, the, some of those um, strands because they're very fine strands in a 20 or a 22 gauge cable. Instead, I go somewhere like Lowe's or Home Depot and you can get the cheapo um, Velcro, Velcro-like ties for, you know, 10 bucks, 10 for 10 or something like that. They're pretty cheap. You can get a whole roll of them for a couple of bucks versus buying actual Velcro cable ties and stuff like that. So look for these at Home Depot or something like that. They're cheap. They work fine for a while. When they wear out, they're cheap enough. You can just throw them away and replace them. Remember, you never put any label. And you can see on this one, I have labels that I created myself. I have a little label machine that prints it out when I built this cable. And... Uh, it makes it a quick and easy way for me to establish certainly that it's my cable. If I'm on a, working on a stage where I'm mixing cables up with another company or another band or something like that, it just makes it really easy to see that it's mine. It has my label on it. And notice that this is the male end. Not only does it have the label, it has the cable stay too. So the idea here is, is this gets plugged into the, to the um, snake head or the breakout box or what have you, wherever it is on stage, and you leave a clean connection uh, or clean looking connection at the microphone end so that if you're you know if you're being videotaped if you're being videotaped you don't have these big cable labels and, and, and cable ties hanging out right next to the mic instead this end is clean so keep your cable ties and your labels on the male end of the microphone and um, now let's let's look a little closely at, at my technique here of doing this cable wrap it, 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 a lot of folks are really um, flummoxed by it, and it's handy if you wrap the cable right. You can't see it here, what I'm about to do, but you could toss the cable out and it'll unfurl in a straight line. Now, you guys couldn't see it unfurl there, but it basically did. There's a little bit of a twist in it. Somebody didn't get this quite untwisted. Uh, the best way to train your cables initially is to get them laid out on the floor flat. It gives many of the twists as you can out of it. One of the tricks to this doing this correctly is <clears throat> to do it the same, first of all, every time you do it. So, start the way I like to start is I put, as you can see, I start with the cable in my right hand holding the male end. And the first twist, the first turn, is on top. My hand is on top, the cable underneath. And I roll it, and as I'm doing it, I'm actually rolling the cable with my fingers. You roll it about a half twist, and you notice it made a nice, made a, made a nice loop. The next one, you grab underhand here. The idea is to grab the cable underhand and turn it in. And you see I made the same size loop once again. So overhand on the next one with a half twist, underhand with the next one, turn it in. 
Overhand with a half twist, underhand turn it in. Overhand with, with a half twist, underhand turn it in. And you pretty much come out every time with, with the ends ending right together as you can see, which makes it very easy to use the cable tie. Both ends are there. You can throw this into a box now and you're not going to have problems pulling out a handful of them later on. And you want to get this cable tie tight. You want to get this so that these don't fall flop out real easy. Because if you get the, if you get your cable ended up like this, what happens is, and cables will, will um, cables will ultimately get loose on you and get tangled up because it's just going to happen. The weighty end of this cable will get tangled like so in between another cable and pretty soon you're trying to grab one cable and it's pulling out more so avoid doing this with your cables make sure you get the entire loop in the cable tie like so and both ends together so one more time I'm going to do this one more time for everybody's benefit here you know the other one of the things about paying attention to how you do this cable too is that uh, if you don't pull the cable, if you if you don't pull the cable off correctly, when you do an over and under, what you get, especially if you pull it through the center, is a knot every two feet. So remember, I start holding it like this, this first one on top. Remember, you give it a half spin with your with your fingers like that and hold it. Next one, you grab it underneath. Next one on top, half spin. Next one underneath. Next one on top, half of a spin. So I'm doing that spin with my fingertips as I roll it in. Now I didn't quite get it and you can kind of see that this is a little wonky here. There's like a twist in this cable that doesn't belong there and it doesn't want to lay down. You start seeing that happen, you know, the best idea is just stop and go back. I can tell that the last one in was, a, was an inside twist because the cable's on the inside right there. So let's try it again. See if I can get it to lay flat. And indeed, there you go. So, take care of your cables, they'll take care of you.